I'm just that same old, same old fat boy, easy with the same stroke. Easy. Game old, Dookie rope and can't go. Better rallies, they keep trying to catch the lingo uh, In and out the city, they just trying to track my plane coast uh, Can't sleep, young nigga having nightmares That trash man ain't looking right, my shades on, light stairs uh, Riding dirty, they catch me with this duffel bag That judge gon' give me light years I ain't talking my uh, shit, mama couldn't teach us Daddy doing life here uh, Yo, it's your boy Uptown Easy I'm rocking on channel 906 TV Check me out, man. It's gonna be an in-depth listening to therapy. My brand new album that's out on Bandcamp.com. Make sure you go get it. Uh, let's get into it, man. You know. So tell us the name of your album again. Um, therapy. The so, title is called Therapy. So what was the inspiration behind therapy? Um, at the time, really, like when I first started making therapy, it was called. Uh, it was called Zero to Sixty. Like I was just like, I'ma just put out all my best raps, and then it was just like, I did a bunch of them, and I ain't like them. And then it was like, at the time I was going through so much different things that I never been through in my life, and I ain't really have nobody else in my immediate circle that was going through that. So, how would you categorize hip hop today? I know you and I have had some conversation about yeah. this, and I think you got some views about how you categorize hip hop. I think this shit is lost, man. Like, I feel like the, the artistic value of hip hop is lost because of so many different avenues to make money off of like subpar music. And when I say subpar, I don't mean like when I say subpar, I don't mean that sub that it's subpar to my standards because I'm I'm just I'm a fan and I feel like I'm an enthusiast as well. I Man, I feel like I I sat around and learned the game and soaked it up from some of the legends that I've been around, and it's nothing like what it used to be. Like hip hop, it used to be a integrity in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like to the point where now it's like anything goes as long as it sells, it's alright and. It's like even with like down to rappers like not even writing their own raps. It's like from when I grew up, or even if you ask any respectable MC, it's like yo, have you ever rapped any lyrics that any other rapper has wrote for you, or any other artist wrote for you? They gonna tell you no, because that's the integrity in hip hop. And now it's like there's no integrity in hip hop, and so that's why I feel like therapy was needed. Like therapy was, it was like well overdue, but it was needed. It was needed for the East Coast hip hop scene. It was needed for hip hop all around the, all around the world because it's, it was falling into just like the beat distracting you from what was really being said. You know, like I touched on earlier. And it's like, when I say these things, a lot of times people look at me like, well, who are you? And you're not like accomplished enough to say that hip hop is, hip -hop is lost. Like, who are you? You know what I mean? It's like, I feel like from me growing up and listening to the quality albums that was being put out when I was a kid to now, it don't even compare. Like, it's not even in the same ballpark. Introduce it to your man. This is Asher Court, dope citizen, old, uh, freshman in the city. He got, like, you know, this is another creative, genuine soul that, like, we just linked up through, through his sister, Normal Jean. Another, another artist that's a part of Dope Citizen, and we just, we've been clicking ever since, and like, um, we started off the therapy session tour, that's what we, we ain't really get into that, but like, we started a therapy session tour off in Philly in December, and I couldn't think of nobody else besides Rob Lowe or Ash Shakur that would fit that mold of doing that show where as though it, had, it didn't feel fake or phony or nothing like that, you know what I mean? And that and that say a lot because I know a lot of people that do music, you know what I'm saying? But I felt like if anybody was going to be in there or anybody going to be able to share this experience with me, we can talk about this 10, 15 years from now, I felt like he was going to be the one, you know what I mean? To be able to do that with me. I don't really, I don't really dig other, other dudes like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I used to keep it 
I was watching the news today and there was a hip hop concert in New York and uh, somebody got killed. And I believe there were some well known hip hop artists that were performing and uh, it kind of got ugly. Yeah, it kind of got ugly. I don't want to name no names. Oh, yeah, right, right. But it, it got ugly, and you know, the result was somebody got killed. What strikes me on that is as beautiful as hip hop is and can be, you know, artists continually put a black eye on it by getting involved in incidents like this. So, what's your thoughts on that? All right, I, I got a two part answer to that. Because sometimes the artists get a bad stigma on them based on the violence that's that's going on around at going on around them at the concert. Nine times out of ten, it's never really the artist or anybody from the artist camp that normally start that type of you gotta know, think, man, somebody that's making sixty thousand dollars to show up and rap. It's not really coming out and being aggressive with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's normally the people that's around. So I feel like, don't make other grown men responsible for other grown men. But the, sec the second part of that is, I feel like, yo, I've been, I've been rapping since, I've been making music since 2008. I've done over 400 performances. Never, ever, 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 ever been a fight. It's a certain level of respect. Certain things just don't go on at certain places. You know what I mean? And certain dudes carry a level of respect where people know not to act like that. You know what I mean? And it's like, man, when that liquor, when that liquor is in, and it's involved in, when it's people who bumping into each other who haven't seen each other based on the separation just of their neighborhoods, man. And then they had they had a concert. Like anything is bound to happen. But just be more conscious of the people you got around you. That's the only way that you can really stop something like that from escalating. And because there's, there's no way a rapper standing up on the stage with a microphone can stop three dudes in the crowd from fighting. But that same rapper can make them three dudes start fighting. I want to get to the point where I have a, a, an amazing body of workout and people are asking and wanting and anticipating my music, but I see myself as being a businessman. I, I want to run the company. Of course, of course, I want to eventually make enough money to take care of my family. You know what I mean? That's the end result. But if, as long as I can get my art out the way that I want to do it, and not had to compromise with somebody that I don't feel like is even cool enough for me to be compromising with and and if I can travel the world and take care of my folks and not have to worry about bills and the next time something gonna get paid man like that's what I'm doing. Pistol gripping future pay tuition for them white squares they call us all thugs we just trying to pay the lights here just enough for re-up and go and cop some night gears no cure for the allure of the fame all the Laurens and Beyonce's, the Nicky's in the game Everybody want the money, don't nobody want to die though I ended my visit, my young nigga told me to draw slow There's no cure for this life, man